Investigators are searching for new clues this morning in the attack that killed two Americans in Jordan. A United States official says the shooting near Amman does not appear to be terror-related. The death toll stands at six, including the gunman. The two Americans work for a United States government contractor training Palestinian police. The gunman is identified as a Jordanian police officer. He was shot dead. This morning, new details in the deadly police shooting of a six-year-old boy in Louisiana. There is an alleged connection between the boy's father, Christopher Few, and one of the officers. Few was wounded. His son, Jeremy Martis, was killed. The two marshals are in jail. David Begno is outside the Rapides Parish Detention Center in Alexandria, Louisiana. David, good morning. Nor good morning. Those deputy marshals have been transported here to Alexandria, where they are being held in isolation for their own safety. This morning, we are learning more about their law enforcement histories, including lawsuits that allege police brutality by the deputy marshals. This morning, it has been nearly a week since that shooting happened in Marksville, and state investigators still don't think they've gotten an honest answer from those deputy marshals as to why they opened fire. The judge set the bond, said that $1 million. Deputy Marshals Derek Stafford and Norris Greenhouse Jr. are charged with second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. This nearly a week after six-year-old Jeremy Martis was shot and killed in his father's SUV following a police chase. Martis, a boy with autism, died buckled into the passenger seat as he sat next to his father, Christopher Few. State investigators are still trying to figure out why the deputy marshals would open fire on Christopher Few who was unarmed. Last week, Megan Dixon, who claims to be Few's fiance, told us she argued with him the night of the shooting. She also said Few knew at least one of those deputies. It was Nora's greenhouse in a U.S. Marshal Corps. He knows Chris. He don't like Chris. Stafford and Greenhouse were named in a civil lawsuit, claiming they used excessive force in a 2013 arrest, along with four other Marksville police officers. The case is still pending. Latasha Murray says she knows the few family and the incident is troubling. It's just a lot of stuff been swept under the table. And it's sad that an innocent six year old life had to be taken for justice to be, for something to be done about it. Doug Anderson disagrees. He is the Avoyles Parish Sheriff. There's no dirty business that, that happens around here. On Monday, Jeremy Martis was buried in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, the city where he spent most of his short life. You don't want to believe it's real. Miranda Sigler became his babysitter when he was 10 months old. I'll always miss him. I can't. I don't want to fathom going on without seeing him again. The judge in the case is not happy how much inside information is being reported. So as of yesterday, he has issued a gag order. Nobody involved in the case is set to talk anymore. We can report this this morning. Derek Stafford, the deputy marshal who is sitting in jail right now, he was indicted on rape back in 2011. Two different rape indictments. But, Gail, we can report this morning both of those indictments and charges were later dropped. Well, the more you hear about this story, the more troubling it is. Thank you very, thank you very much, David. There's more to come for sure.